Hey guys, so we're going to do the monthly tarot read for Taurus. I really like Taurus. I, you know, I get along with Taurus very well because I think they're in my seventh house. Um, so I tend to have, and for some reason I do very well making friends with Taurus males has been kind of one of my things. Um, but yeah, let's kind of see what's going on with Taurus this month. So this is going to be for the month of November. So let's kind of focus. We're going to pull three from the Rider Waite. We're going to be pulling from multiple decks is what I'm doing with these. focus. Let's turn this. Let's flip this a little bit. Focus on Taurus. Lot going on this month. Scorpio energy and then going into Sagittarius. Let's turn this a little bit. Okay, let's cut the deck. What's your three cards for the month of the Rider Wait? Let's see what we've got. Okay. Oh, very interesting cards. Um, for Tor uh, in Earth sign, um, the cards here are the king and... Oh, let me pull this up a little bit for you guys so I can see. I've got big cards here. So I've got the king and the queen of swords are both popping up here. So I feel like one of the things about this, this is time for some critical thinking. And this is going to be for the feminine and the masculine as well. So Taurus feminine and Taurus masculine is really using the intellect during this time. Really thinking things through carefully, being diplomatic and so forth. Now notice each one has a sword. <clears throat> so we're going to probably be tapping into some warrior spirit over the month. We're going to have some challenges that we need to prepare for. But I feel, you know, with this energy is very strong and powerful with the divine feminine and divine masculine to be able to tune into that power. But one of the things I've got for you here is I've got the Ten of Wands in the first position. And very often when I see the Ten of Wands energy, it's there's something I need to release here. There's something I need to let go of. I'm carrying too many heavy burdens. And this is one of the things that makes sense that we got to think things through carefully. Um, what do I need to be doing versus what am I taking on? Maybe other people's stuff, other people's business and problems and things like that. You know, I'm trying to be diplomatic here. I've got a lot of diplomacy. I'm trying to do the right thing. You may find yourself being caught in the middle of some kind of conflict with others. And what you want to do is we've got to release that burden. We can't solve everyone's problems. Okay. And what are the things about Taurus out of all of the signs? They are about peacemakers. They are about being peaceful. I mean, we think of a stubborn bull, but I always think of the Taurus like the Ferdinand the bull, that they just want to sit under the tree and smell the roses. That's all they really want to do. Bulls by nature are peaceful unless provoked. Okay, so this is really what they want. So I've got a lot of that diplomacy energy here with the King and Queen of Swords energy, but tearing on other burdens and trying to solve people's problems and solve their conflicts is going to weigh you down. You know, so try not to get in the middle. Notice it was a center card. Try not to get in the middle of, of, of any kind of conflict and things like that and trying to solve everything. Let people work some things out for themselves. Sometimes they really got to do that. And then we're going to pull from the Thoth deck to get some of that Thoth energy in here. But yeah, you may feel like you're being pulled into the middle of something. And they they want you to solve the problems and so forth. Okay, so you've got to be really careful with that. And I know you're the peacemaker of the family. You're the peacemaker of friends and everything like that.
Okay, let's focus. That's a very powerful, powerful energy right there. And that's one of the things, the, the warrior king and queen, they do aim for peace. They're a little more refined. Okay, let's cut it right there. Looks good. Let's see what we get there. Very pleasant cards. These are very pleasant cards that are popping up for you. I'm very pleased with this. So we've got the art card, which is the, the temperance card, which is all about patience and divine timing. So I feel some things that you've been waiting for are going to manifest. Um, this is a good balance card. It's about balance and so forth, but especially about divine timing and patience. Now, this is the alchemy card. So that's the thing. Alchemy is a very slow process. And that's why this card always calls for patience, that things we want to manifest will manifest. I feel this is a good time, especially for self-love. I look at this, the cup runneth over. We should have some good feeling moments here. If we could just stay out of trying to make everything peaceful for everyone and just sit in our own peace and contentment. But this is a really good, comfortable time of really loving the self, which is going to be good. And also with relationships with others should be good and everything. I'm not getting conflict for you per se, but that people may try to pull you in to solve their problems. And then look at that, the sun. You know, just this is your time to shine. This is going to be a good month for you. This is your time to shine. Absolutely. And then we've got that Knight of Cups energy. So for some of you, like just having good love and even romance, this is a time to be romantic and having these feel-good feelings. You're really going to want to express them and so forth and really get it out there. Some good emotional balance is going to be there, which is good. But I've got some really good, nice Thoth cards. And Thoth isn't always nice. You know, Thoth isn't always nice, but we've got some good feeling cards. So let's see how relationships are going to look. Hopefully you see some good things. Let's see what we've got there, okay? Let's see what we've got going on. So I feel with the hybrid family, some of you, especially married, um, with marriage should be very good, should be very pleasant. I've got a, a lot of good union here. Um, if people have been wondering if a relationship is going to make it, it looks pretty good that it will. So if, you, if you've been kind of on the edge and been having a little bit of problems, I feel something being restored in the relationship that is going to get better. There is going to be some improvement, especially seeing that I've got the Ace of Cups, I've got the Sun, I've got that Knight of Cups energy in there, which is good. I've got that that Eight of eight of Wands energy here. So I feel like some things kind of just need to go at a slower pace. And if you could go at an easy, slow pace and not be trying to rush anything with the relationship, things will be good. Don't become afraid if things are slowing down a little bit if things aren't the high momentum that they were in the beginning of the relationship allow things to kind of simmer sometimes we got it's just like say we're boiling water you know we're about to cook it everything and we throw the food in what do we do after we throw the food in we turn it down a notch right we need to turn it down because we don't want to overcook it right and so sometimes simmering and having things slow down a little bit, it's not a sign that anything's going to end, but it's a sign that just things, things need to reach a nice equilibrium and so forth. Now I've got the high priestess in the reverse position. You might feel like um, intuition is a little bit off during this time and things like that. Um, you might be questioning certain things of the relationship, but for the most part, I feel things look good. Just don't overthink you know, this little bit of a slow period that you may go through, just things kind of simmering down. But I feel with most of you, uh, remember, it's a collective read, take with what you want. But the Five of Cups energy, you know, that is about more to get lost, but then another soulmate arrives and so forth. You might have a situation where you kind of look back on another soulmate and so forth. That is a possibility. Or you could have an old soulmate possibly reemerge um, in the picture while you're with this new one here or this relationship here, but a, a person of the past 
may potentially come into the present is what spirit is making me feel. And what they're making me feel is don't jeopardize a good thing that you've got here with someone returning from the past. People are exes for a reason. Don't forget that. People are exes for a reason. So now we're going to put some angel energy to the foundation. Get some good angel energy cards. Oh, there's that Ten of Fire again. We've got that Ten of Wands energy again. Okay. Very interesting. We've got three Earth, and that is not a surprise for a Taurus. Uh, so the Ten of Earth energy, I feel money-wise, should be very prosperous during this time. This is a good wealth card, and also good balance with the family should be good. You may even receive some gifts with the Six of Earth energy um, coming forward, some good money. Some of you may get bonuses from work. There could be some good things with that. If you have been a little bit worried about money and finances and so forth, I feel this is more of a worry card because towards the end of the month, I feel some good wealth coming in for you. So if there's been a little bit of financial strain, um, a little bit in the family and so forth, I feel a big boost lift from some kind of gift. It could be a bonus coming in. Yeah, unexpected money arises that puts you in a better financial position. But I do also have the Ten of Fire showing again. So I feel with work situation and things like that, there is definitely a call to let go of some things here, to let go of some burdens and so forth. You've got enough on your plate here that we need to focus on this, focus on family, focus on finances and establishing ourselves that we can't take on other people's burdens so easily. I'm not saying don't help people and so forth, but you can don't spread yourself too thin. I guess this is one of the messages that I'm getting is don't spread yourself too thin. So let's go ahead and pull from Story Beginnings. It's been a good deck for me today. It's a good universal energy deck that I really like. Oh, that's very fitting. Okay. So I've got the card, trust what you need is there. So you've got all the resources at your disposal. Everything you need is right there. I also have the card, life is an expression of you. So kind of recognize you are the universe. But also, I do get that time to move on. That doesn't necessarily make me feel a relationship. That makes me feel what I was talking about in the beginning, that there is there could be some conflicts with some other people, that people try to pull you into their situation and get you to make the peace and get you to try to solve the problems. And Spirit is saying, move on from that. Drop the burden. Let that go. Move on from the situation. Okay? And then we're going to look at some shadow work aspects that we might need to do. Wow, I've been pulling that card for everybody today. It must be with the Scorpio energy or something. So this is very, very fascinating. So with some of the shadow work that we're going to do through the month, I've got the card of the Observer. I've been pulling that a lot for people. It's like Spirit is saying, maybe with the Scorpio energy we're dealing with, kind of step back and observe some of the deeper issues. But I've also got two cards which I feel fit together very well, which is reflect and release. Now, that'll be really good for some new moon energy. Kind of observe, reflect, and release. That kind of energy is what Spirit is saying they want you to do for your shadow work energy. And I'm going to go ahead and pull from this deck here. Some messages of Spirit. So a few things we're getting here, I've got the willpower card. Now, I kind of look at that when I was tuning into the finances and so forth. I feel some gifts, money, getting into a better financial position. As you get there, as you kind of get there and some of the money worries kind of start to go away, use willpower and, and be careful wisely. Save for a rainy day here. I know Christmas is coming up. Don't go too crazy with that. 
Now, some of you may be grieving at this time. You may have experienced some kind of a loss. Um, that could be very so. And this is kind of that time. I look at that butterfly. Really pay attention to the signs that you'll be getting. Some of you may get signs from your loved ones. Today, technically, is Halloween that I'm doing these readings. So as the veil is thin, that could be coming forward. And I've also got the card Freedom. So this is really a, a time to embrace your freedom and everything like that. Notice they're in a cage, but they can get free of it easily and so forth. They have the ability to walk out of there at any time. And there's all this surrounding them. So if you've been feeling kind of trapped in a cage and so forth, Spirit is definitely saying you can get free of it. And let's pull from some, I almost forgot my lover's oracle. Uh, let's pull for your lover's cards, what we get. Oh, interesting for some of you. Okay, so for some of you in a relationship, time, you are trying too hard, give it time. And that's why I was saying don't force anything. Let things simmer in the relationship. But some of you who might not be in a relationship, I've got the secret admirer card. So somebody likes you. Somebody likes you. They might not be letting it on and so forth, but they are checking you out. So it's a very interesting. So just kind of to sum up, uh, definitely work on that shadow work energy they, that reflect and release. There are some things that we kind of need to release. Um, don't let people pull you into the conflict to solve their problems. Uh, people need to solve their own problems. Okay. They need to do that. It's okay. Maybe I give a little diplomatic advice and so forth, but you're the one who needs to fix your problems. You know, that kind of energy. I've got some good feel good. We've got that temperance. We've got the ace of cups, the sun and everything. Some good feeling energies there. But in the relationship, I feel relationships should be good for you guys with Taurus um, and, and everything like that, um, especially marriages um, should be good, solidified. But if things seem like they're cooling down a little bit, don't panic. I feel like Spirit is saying, don't panic. That's what relationships do. They can't always be high, 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 and everybody's all, you know, into each other and crazy. We have our own lives to live as well and everything. So don't panic over that. And some good angel energy, some good prosperity. Taurus is really good at prosperity. I do hope you guys enjoy my read.